Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to play Xenoblade X. Now unlike Xenoblade 2, this is a real gamer's game with a complex battle system that only masters can understand. So we could use our own armored mech to fight this enemy robot, but that would just be stupid. It's much smarter to approach on the ground with just a knife instead. So the next thing we need to do is replace this music. It's so good that it's distracting me, so we're going to press this overdrive button in the center and do something about that. So by using this overdrive ability, we can learn how to count by two by using green arts into our other damage arts, and arts with higher hit count will let us count even further. We also really like counting, so we don't want this ability to end, so we're going to keep using green arts to refresh the duration. And by doing this, we can infinitely use overdrive for the duration of the battle. Higher number increases all our bonus effects further, like damage and art cooldowns. But you see, all of this is balanced by the fact that we have to use all of our TP in order to use this, and there's no way to get it back. Well, unless you use these purple arts. And now we can just do that again if we want to get a full count to use overdrive for the next battle, or if we want to use TP arts. So now all we want to do is keep spamming these green arts just to refresh our duration more. Use our purple art, we have all our TP back, so we're able to do this again in the next fight automatically. And now we just want to keep building up our count, because we like counting. But I think that's enough counting and preparation, so let's get ready to start the real fight now. So let's go ahead and target this dude and use our best art, Black Butterfly. Holy crap, that was intense! It really does take an enormous amount of skill to be able to play this game effectively. Well gamers, thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the battlefield!